Hey everyone and welcome to a first look on my channel of Behind Glass, the Aquarium Simulator. In today's video, we are actually going to have a relaxed little aquarium build video. This one in the background is just an example, but we are going to test uh, the limits of this game today. There's also kind of a new little breeding system we are going to have a look at at the end. But I want to build something Asian inspired with you, or maybe not Asian inspired, but we are going to have a look at what we can do with the system because it's quite solid. And and it's going to be a lot of fun, so let's jump into it. All right, so we are here to create a new aquarium. I'm gonna call this one um, Camel Bath Tub. I think that's that's the the best name we can have it for. And then we are going to make it uh, rather big, you know. Um, and then we can actually have the one meter long, and then we're gonna make it 60 tall, like this. And then we're going to make it uh, 50, I guess 50 is good. Okay, so that's fine. Um, surrounding is going to be uh, whatever. We're going to, I think we're going to take this apartment and we're going to go fresh water, salt water. I think we're going to go fresh water. Uh, did we click that one? Yes. So let's create the new one. I'm going to be in here. And there you go. This is our little aquarium, which we are going to be filling today. Um, first of all, because that's the first look and potentially you have not seen it anywhere else, I'm going to quickly give you an overview what you can do. So this is the aquarium and this game is very focused on building this and you can just go into the edit mode and then you get several elements to edit. You can also hide the border and so you have basically a very focused edit mode. You can move around with the camera, just drag around, you can zoom in and out. So pretty much as you expect. It's very intuitive. Um, the controls are pretty much as you would expect them. So they didn't do any switchy switchy with the clicky buttons, you know, um, that could confuse you very easy. And then you can go in here here with the different tabs on the left hand side you're gonna have the background you can change the background if you want um there are some cool images over here, but there are also, and these are the ones I love quite a bit, there are some 3D images. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So you have the 3D rock and you can see they are actual rock facades, which is pretty dang cool. And then you can also um, make a covering here with algae, um, or you can even go with a purple algae, which you, when you will go like, a, I don't know, subterranean volcano, I'll go with the green one. Not sure if I keep it that way, um, but you can also change the style according to a liking. There are a couple of those in and then you can also do 3d wood which i'm a big fan of as well looks really cool as well in the background and then you have got this 3d rock and you've got even a live kind of rock over here um which looks a, a bit like I don't know, it's almost like coral, coral reef, something like that. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with this one and a bit more covering. And let me just go for this style over here. That's a nice style we're gonna go for. Nice, okay. So next up is the gravel, that's the ground part. And you can actually do some cool stuff with it. You can change the different um, pebbles and stuff. We're gonna go with the dark one here. And we are also going to go with the different substrate. We can go with the small pebbles as well. So it's looking a bit like that. So very nice um, merged into each other. I'm just gonna go if there's anything a little bit brighter. That's maybe a little bit too bright, to be honest. What about the, the gray, gray ones? What about the big pebbles? Hmm, there are some very interesting ones in here, to be honest. Um, they are way too big, though, and I would need to put a lot of stuff in. This is too bright. So you can do some really cool stuff with it. You can go also with sand if you want. Oh my god, wait, sand? Hmm. Okay, this one is too bright, but the normal sand kind of got me over here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I might even go with this, to be honest, because it, it has a good contrast. You can always change it later, by the way. I'm gonna go with the gray stones, first of all. And what is kind of cool is you can now make a covering over here with the green algae as well. And then you can just just click and you can see there is like slightly coming the covering on um, or you can just get rid of it if you want like that as well um, the good bit about this is you can obviously then therefore just kind of uh, merge it a bit together here with the wall there you go and if you want to do that even more you can change the height and then you can just press like this and then you're changing the height a little bit so to give the whole thing a little more depth and stuff i really am a big fan of how intuitive and easy the controls are um, i'm also willing to adjust the height a little bit in the middle here and we are going to just make like a, a little bit of a bump here uh, which gives the whole thing hopefully a bit more of contrast in the end and more interesting to look at like with a bit more depth in here um, But we are going to smooth it all out now because that is just really 
needed. Uh, one thing though I found a bit um, weird, but it makes sense that it doesn't work because with pressing or holding down the left mouse button you can move around like that. Um, so if you want to smooth you have to click, you can't hold and drag as you are used to maybe from other games. Uh, but yeah, this is what we do. So we're going to keep it this way. Um, the, the ground covering, you can always, you know, you can always just do the substrate like that. See, and then just go in with the other ones. I'm not doing this quite now because we have to adjust this according to the um, stones and stuff we put down. Speaking of which, we have a whole bunch of things we can use. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here we can use. There is even a Buddha statue and we can uh, edit and then you can see the size of it is relatively small um, so you can also change the size a bit of a problem is for me and I hope they're going to to change this is that they will change this later on you can also see it's kind of funky you can with uh, WASD you can really rotate it in any direction you want to which is pretty cool like um, I really do like that a lot to be honest. Um, so you can always according to the camera. So you also can do this uh, with these buttons, um, but uh, it's a lot easier with WASD. And depending on how you look at it, you are able to rotate this pretty easily to your likings, uh, which I'm very much a fan of. It, it, it takes a little getting used to, not gonna lie, because you can also tilt it like that. Um, but then it's pretty easy to just drag it around and then just click it down and then you have got the Buddha in the ground merged in here. But obviously you can also bring it all the way up and then there you go. Um, but we're not going to use that one quite yet. Um, we are going to put this down. We also have some bubbly bubbles. You can put them where you want. So for example, put them here and then we will have some bubbles. Uh, not sure where they are to be honest. Hey, hello? Bubbles? Bubbles? Size? Oh wait, did I have... did I... okay. Well, I think they're now bubbling. Can I... can I just... hello? I want to undo this. Uh, please confirm. Really delete? Yes. Okay, bubbles are gone. I'm, I'm not sure where I had them, but I don't want them. <laughs> okay, I'm stupid. And then you've got a lot of plants that you can put in here as well. Uh, but again, plants are something we do at the end, because first of all, we're going to right now on what we want to do. It's kind of cool that we have some um, bamboo as well. And we can add that like so. And this is one thing I wanted to use already to have like a little bit of a, yeah, Asian styled kind of uh, thing here. So let me just tilt that around. So I'm going to take this one and we're going to have this one, a very small one. Let me see. Okay. So if I'm going to bring this down in a, hello, can I just have that? Okay. Now let me just bring this to this area here, rotate it in a way. There you go. And then just put that on top. Um, I'm not sure if this is long enough. Maybe we can change the size a tiny bit. There you go. Um, is there also like a copy paste option here? I wish to copy paste that one. I think I can't, right? Ah, how unfortunate. Okay, um, let's use another fresh bamboo and take that size. Oh, actually this, this is pretty good. Okay, so let's move that in here. And so we have like a, almost like a little Japanese gate. I'm quite a big fan of that one. And let's see kind of how small this one can get. Okay, well, that's not, not small enough for my liking. So we're just going to merge that a little bit in the ground. Let me see. Yeah, that looks, that looks fine to me. And I want to have this one very small as like a little style element next. That's pretty brick, by the way. Can't bring this further down, but I can change the song in the background. Not too chilly. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me see which one is the smallest one. Is that small? I want to, you know, I want to kind of have like a miniature area. So I'm just going to see which one is the smallest we can get. Um, that one looks neat. That one look, look, looks like a little bamboo area next to it. Nice. I love that. Um, okay. How small is that trunk going to be? Um, interesting. Okay. So this is interestingly small. So we can adjust that a little bit and then sink it into the ground. I want to actually lay this down to the ground a little bit more like so that it's just sticking out. A oh yeah, look at that. It looks like a little pathway. Love it. So we're going to make this like as if, if there's like a little pathway leading in here. And then we're going to build something now in the background here. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we will have to see. So we are going to use this rock most of all. Um, but we are first of all starting with a relatively big one. Uh, on the ground. So we are making this like so. 
Maybe we are moving this a bit more like here. So there you go. Let's make that even bigger. And then sink. Oh, we can't sink it. So we have to go down a bit more. And we can make that covering of algae a little bit more heavy. That's good. Okay, so let's take another rock and we're going to make this a little smaller. And then we are going to move this rock all the way up here. And let's now try to bring it in a position. There you go. There you go. Um, it's going to be relatively hard to maintain the face in the way I want to, but we are not giving up quite yet. It's gonna be good. Okay, so this is not, this is nice. Look, that looks almost like one stone. Um, I'm gonna go a lot smaller now. I'm gonna move this whole thing up as well and see if we can find the flat side again. There you go. Look good to me. That looks good to me as well. And then when you move that in like this, uh, maybe we can just rotate this a bit more. My God, why have I so many weird songs in the background? Okay, so next song. There you go. Okay, nice. Okay, we've we've done that. Pretty good. See, this is one thing I really hope they could add in the future. Like, if I could now multi-select these pieces and then just copy paste, that would be even better. Um, let's just add a bit more covering here and then quite a lot to the top. There you go. Wait, did I do? Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now let's go back to the stones. Uh, they are in here. And I'm just gonna use a tiny one here in the front, like that. So make, make it just a bit more nice looking. Cool. And then we can also have this one as, okay, I can't move it so far down. Okay, we're gonna put this in the background here just to have a bit more of a contrast. Let's have a bit more. Yeah, that's good. That's good to me. Um, we do have to actually get a lot more height into the whole system. So what I'm wanting to do, actually, you know what? We are going to delete this thing. Um, we are building like a staircase leading up here to a little platform. I think this is going to look uh, rather fantastic. Um, so let me just uh, see how I can get there. Um, okay, is there anything like a flat rock in here? Okay, I think maybe this one. I'm not sure if this is flat or not. Let me see if it if it can provide something like this. Um, uh, not necessarily. Okay, let's see if there's another one that has a bit more of a flat surface for us or anything else that could become a flat surface. Can we turn that thing completely around, by the way? Let me just see. So is there a way to, oh yeah, it is. Haha, <laughs> look at that, this is, this is cool. So we can make that the platform, nice. Okay, so turning things up and down since ever. Um, this is the stuff I do. Um, so it's just, okay, size wise, we're just gonna apply this a little more like so. I love that because we can now, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do this just one more time and rotate this thing all the way around. Nice, and we're gonna put this right next to it here. So we have this double platform. Sweet, this is the platform we are going to use. Let's just move a little bit closer. And then we're gonna put some, some rocks and stuff below just to make sure that this looks a bit more nice. Um, can we just make the size and the covering a bit more? Apply. How that, okay, that looks, that looks weird. I'm just gonna put this here, that is better. Now I'm just gonna delete this. Okay, well, no, delete, delete. Uh, let me just quickly get in here and I'm going to use this rock. Or maybe, maybe no, I'm just going to use that one. We haven't had that in a while. So, well, we didn't have that at all. So not in a while, but at all. Quite a lot of covering because otherwise it doesn't match the color in here too well. Yeah, that's sweet. And then we're gonna use this one as well down here. I just want to make sure that everything looks a little more realistic. I'm going to put some plants in front and then it doesn't really look too much like, you know, uh, the the thing, the the Buddha from, from the ground. I don't want to make this look too much like a Buddha, you know. Uh, let's just do it that way. And then let's see if we can utilize it. Where's the rock? Why is it? Come on, get over here. Okay, look, this looks kind of cool from couple of angles but 
I'm not sure if I like the color too much, so we have to also get a lot more covering on. Yeah, but I think it matches nicely. And then if we put some plants in between, that'll look good. Um, we can't change the color of this thing, can we? We can also do like a huge covering here. Yeah, that looks better even. Um, let's cover that entirely. Nice. Okay, now the question is, what is the stone? Um, wait, what's that? What's that? Where is it? Uh... Wait, why is the... I want to get this stone up and running here. Wait, is it... Do I have to stick that in the wall? Does it remain there then? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so size-wise, that should be fine. Apply. Can we make that a stair now? But it's interesting to see that there is a... There are different models. I think I messed that up, that there. Okay, so I'm going to go with this rock again. Oh, look at that! There are different styles. Oh, that's pretty dang cool. I'm gonna go with this style then, because that one seems to be the perfect, the perfect uh, staircase. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we are going to use that one, and we're gonna just change the sound again. I'm sorry, I don't know what the music is doing today. I have like a huge playlist, but uh, it's it feels like it's always the wrong song. There you go. Okay, if we use this rock all over the place, that should look good. Okay, it's always the same. So we can just move that in here and then just rotate it slightly and it should be fine. You know, it's not going to be like a perfect staircase. It should just look like, you know, as if there's like in Asia, kind of a, uh, how's that called? The Not the, the mountains, but like in a hilly area where you have the you know, staircase leading up to a temple or something. You know, that, that's kind of the, the idea behind this. Nothing too fancy, but I think it's gonna look good at the end. So we're going to use most of the rotation here we can. Let's keep it really to the side. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Cover this in a bit more mossy, a bit less. Wait, there you go. A bit more, a bit less, should all go fine. And then bring this down. Bring it down again. There you go. And just gonna turn that around. Like, turn it up and down, turn it around. Okay, let's put another one in. Another one. Okay, so this is going to be here. There you go. I mean, no one has to actually access this staircase, so we can go crazy, why not? And then we're going to change the model here. I like this model. So maybe this is a good round off here for the ground. Oh my God, look at how Look at how straight that is. I love it as like a platform or something. Nope, size is going to be smaller and then we're going to make the covering quite a bit. There you go, now we have it. And then, can we have this thing? How, how big is it? Okay, so we can make that go in here. That's actually pretty good, okay. Mm, make it covered as well and size-wise a tiny bit better. There you go, and then in, in the corner here. Look at that, this is this is pretty, pretty cool. Now we're gonna put like a branch in here as well as like a little dead tree or something. Yeah, and then we're gonna rotate this a little bit with, tilt this so it's sticking out to the front. And I'm gonna match this uh, with the side of that a bit better. There you go. This is, this is exactly what I wanted to do. And then we have got wood pieces. How can we, yeah, there you go. Nice, okay. So this is all good. Can we also have different models of that one? Okay, there is no different model of this one. Unfortunate. Okay, but now, where's the Buddha again? I want to have the Buddha, but now we're going to use the Buddha actually as a Buddha, as it's supposed to be used. Um, rotate this thing in a way that we need this, and we can make it a bit bigger, can't we? There you go. And you're going to be lowered down onto the platform here. Can you sink in there? Yeah, okay, nice. And I'm gonna rotate you a little. Yeah, okay, this is good. I wanna I wanna go here. So come on, turn it around, up and down. There you go. Lower you down in here. Nice, cool. So we have this little thing and then can go up here to the Buddha and we've got this lower ground. Now it is really time to make it look good with some plants and stuff um, and put some more bigger rocks in here to get the, you know, to get the overall feeling right. Um, let me just see, what about this one? Okay, so we can have this one already in here. 
just to have a contrast. Okay, I quite like this. Um, I'm going to add another one down here. We can actually also change the size of that thing and add a bit more covering. Um, I didn't apply the size. There you go. This is a lot better. And I want to have this one too down here again. Can I move this closer? Yeah, I can. This is exactly what I wanted. Just to cover this background up a little bit, you know. Um, look at that. We have some cooler ones in here. Wait, I like this so much. I want to bring this in here. We can just reduce the size ever so slightly. Oh yeah, that, that is perfection because that has the reddish elements on there that we need for like a kind of Asian Japanese area. Oh my God, this is perfect. Can I also change the color of that one? I can only add the covering. Ah, okay, but it, it looks good. It's fine. Mm, what else do we have in here? So we have got a couple of these hydro. It's cool that you can change these things according to, uh, you know, um, just being on that tab of the plant. So can I also change this one? Is there another bushy one in? Let me just do this one. Eh, it can be on the stone, why not? But it's, no, we have to, hello? Rotate you a little bit. Okay, we have to put you all the way on top. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. I think I like that. I think I like how this is turning out to be looking. Um, what else do we have from this thing? Okay. Is this the smallest version we have? Yeah, it is. Okay. Nice. I think, what is the info? Is that because we have more of these things? Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure what exactly this means with the, that we have more versions of it because in here there's not more of it. Um, but I still like the, I like the, oh my God, look at how small you can get this. Okay, I'm a big fan of this thing because it's so small. Okay, can I have like this? Look at how many different pieces you have. It is so cool. Um, I definitely want this. And let me just, wait, no, go smaller, please. There you go. And then we're going to bring this in. There you go. Look at that. This is this is kind of cool. Sticking out a little. So I'm gonna bring this over here a tiny bit more. Nice. Okay, so we've done most of what is needed for the beginning. What I want to do now is, as promised, we are going to, this seems to be good. And that's quite a big one. And we're, oh my God, why is the plant? Ah, okay, now I got it. So the plants are, okay, cool. But the, the color of this stone really doesn't match the overall area. So I'm going to go with this rock again. And I think this is the one we need. And then we're just going to bring this up here. And then let me just see. It just kind of towers too much over there, but we can somewhat do it like so. It it feels right if it's connected there. It feels right, but there is one more thing we got to do then. And this is gonna use, is there another trunk again? No, but we're going to use this trunk. There are 10 more versions of it. So I'm gonna use this specific piece here and bring it all the way up here. Hello, can you just not have the plant on top? I want to have this like almost like a support. Yeah, that works perfectly fine. And now, the lovely plant just can go down here, okay? Noise. I like this all really, really much. Really, really much, really a lot. I like it a lot. Um, one thing though, can I have more versions of this? Okay, they just have a different shape. It's not really what I want. Um, but I want this. I want this to be bigger. And I want to go also in front here. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good to me. Good. Now, as we've done that, let's move quickly back to our substrate. And what we're going to do now is we're first of all going to make everything just um, everything just white, first of all. There you go. And we're also going to deactivate this. So that is what we have for the ground, okay? And what we're going to do now is we're just going to make sure that we okay that's still too big and the intensity is too high okay can I just lower down the intensity even more 
So we have the substrate because I want to make like almost like a little pathway, you know? Okay, we can make the intensity even higher then. Might be a little bit too small. Okay, so that, that is what I want to do here. Look, just cover this below everything that has just like a little bit of, I don't know, something. <laughs> I'm not sure if this makes any sense, but you know, this is that. And now let's go all the way down, size a little bit bigger, and then we can just match it a little bit better by making it like so. Okay, I think that that looks a lot better now. That looks a lot better as if it is supposed to be looking like that. And now we do a tiny bit of covering here and there just to bring the algae in. Just below these things where it would be likely, you know, not everywhere, but just below these surfaces where they could grow realistically. There you go. Nice. Nice, I like it, okay. And then we also um, have the chance to bring some other stuff in here. And uh, this is for example, um, like ground reed and stuff. And this is exactly what we do. Uh, size, no size is fine, density has to be. And the radius can be a little bit bigger. Just a couple of things here and there, you know. Nothing fancy, just to make the whole thing look a bit better. We also have like the hair grass, which is kind of cool. We can use that to make it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, go away. Make the size smaller, yeah, density, go away, yeah, that, that makes sense, like a little bit of contrast here and there, that's nice, no, let's not do too much of it. And then what about these little, okay, they are not good, but what about the bright ones? Oh yeah, they can, they can be, they can be put down, why not? Just a couple of these here and there. Uh, you've got to be careful because it just deletes also the other stuff here when you put them down. It could take away from the other things, but I think it's fine. I think it's actually fine. There you go. There you go. That's actually good. Okay, cool. Um, now let's just change the... <laughs> oh my god, look at how this, this is a bit wonky there in the background because of how the plant is. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Oh no, it, it just finds itself now. That's fine. And um, what I want to do is to get bit reddish light in or shall we actually go with a green slightly green tint okay yeah it's fine i guess can make it brighter a tiny bit there you go okay now we have to find some suitable fishies for our area mm, i think we'll go with the discus and add this one uh excuse me is everything gone where is it? Why? Why is it? Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. I, I. I. think I want to. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. I. Ah. My god. I need to make you smaller. There you go. Okay. And then we have this one. I'm gonna make you even smaller. And I add two of those. Nice. They are good. And I'm gonna. I. I have no idea, by the way, guys, if they are fitting uh, into this or not. Really, I I am I am not an expert on fishies, but yeah, <laughs> I just put them in, you know. Um, I want to have another little color element. Oh, we have some crabs! Look at that! I want a Mr. Crab, Vampire Crab. Of course, I want. Um, yeah, let's put in four and add them. Nice. Okay, so if I go back to, it's kind of populated. Really cool. Really, really cool. Um, Anything else? These smaller ones are kind of cool. So can I have more of these? Size can be tiny bit more. And then we're gonna have, which one was it? Which one was it? Was it, which one? I think it was that one, right? The uh, Eureka Red Peacock. Um, Or was it the, I, I wanna have this one and I wanna have, they're seven centimeters, but we can make them smaller. Oh, but they fit very well in here as well. That's cool. And I think that's it. Um, that's kind of cool. And we can go back in here. Um, is there anything else we want to do? No, this is what we have done. What about the bubbles, by the way? Can I put the bubbles in now? Size and add bubbles. Oh, look at that. There, there, now we have the bubbles. Um, can I have the bubbles go from... Yeah, I want to have it next to the gate. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I like it. 
Can I? I can't click. Can I? Did I click the bubbles? Oh, I clicked the bubbles. Maybe I want to have it down here, by the way. Looks maybe better. And we're gonna make the size a little bit smaller. Yes, yes, I like that. Okay, cool. We've done all of that, and now um, we can go and have a look at our finished aquarium. I'm quite happy with how does this turn out. Um, I want to get this in a quite a tiny bit brighter. Yeah, there you go. There you go, that looks that looks really good to me. Um, now let's have a little look in the breeding, because there is also the breeding, and also, uh, can I just uh, exit, there you go. And now you can go to the breed lab, and now you can drop and drag the creatures down there. I want to get this one, and which one else could we breed? Oh, because we were in fresh water, we can't obviously crossbreed with those, but can I have this one, is that working? <laughs> Look at that, this is so funny. It's kind of funky what you can do, honestly. It, it's uh, fresh and salt water. Um, yeah, I want to crossbreed that one. Breed line with cross no, no, the name is um, okay, Camelfish1. And we're gonna add this. You have already added this breed to a breed library. Dang! Okay, then we have to make the Camelfish1 again. Um, but I want to breed the... This one, the neon whatever is called, and then I'm gonna mix this with. Wow, what is that? Flower horn. I wanna mix you with the clownfish. Looky look, what is that? Um, <laughs> this is actually, it's fun. It's fun doing that, not gonna lie. Uh, I wanna have the, the bigger one, yes. And this is the camelfish one, yes, we add this one. And now I want to make like a really funky one. Um, that one and the trigger fish. <laughs> Look at that, this is so funny. What is this breed even? I like this one. This is the camelfish too. Camelfish too. We're gonna have to put both of them in. Um, but I want to make one more. One more of the beta. This is one of the single fishies I actually know. Um, and we're gonna use the... Uh, let's, let's go for another funky one. Mm, the royal anglefish. Or angelfish, I should say. Anglefish, well, my, my, my English is broken. Um, no, but you. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, I like this one. This is camelfish three. And say, okay, nice. Okay, now we've done that. Can we can we actually bring them in here? So go to edit and create. And oh, look at that, we have our crossbreeds and we definitely have our camelfish. Um, let's put them here and three of them in. Ooh, lovely. And then we have also our crossbreed, which is a bit bigger, so let's put two of them in. Yeah, I like that. It's quite populated. But I think it's good. Now we can just go to photo mode and have a look uh, to what we what we want to see now. You can say freeze view, there you go. So it's not like crazy, send to steam. <laughs> oh, that's a kind of funny. Um, and then you can just move and adjust it and just put it in the right, you know in the right angle. I think this angle is pretty dang cool. And you just take the photo. Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. What is this even? Um, I'm not gonna do this in the video. I'm gonna take some screenshots later. My god, I don't even know which folder is which and stuff. But I could just just do this and then you have the, the finished aquarium view over here. That's also pretty easy to take a screenshot now. I quite like the aquarium. Not gonna lie. Look at that, they've got smack. It's obviously no brand, but that's, that's definitely a smack uh, fridge over there. Is there anything else? Look, look at the, look at this, like an IKEA cupboard. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, yeah, that's that should be it, guys. I'm really a big fan of this game because it gives you so much more freedom in, in comparison to all the other aquarium builders we've had. Um, I love the fact that they, out of the box, have no uh, kind of hitbox stuffy and you know all this kind of issue you have every now and then. And just in general, it's a super relaxed and good game. So please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this game and uh, if you have a specific crossbreed that we want. Oh, why do I? Wait, can we? This is one thing I want to. No, no, no continue. Uh, one thing I want to test real quick. Can we also breed the the crabs? Oh crap, we can't. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna work out in the future. But yeah, so this is it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh wait, let's let's feed our animals first. That's kind of fun, by the way. You can just put food in here, and now everyone is going nuts and just grabbing the food. It's kind of fun. It's really you can just go crazy and throw the food in. It's kind of nicely done, by the way. It's 
really cool. And then you can also knock, and then they, they swim where you knock. Even you shouldn't do that actually in real life, but you know, that's uh, that's what the game does. It's super relaxing. It's super relaxing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did enjoy this video, or uh, making this video a lot. And uh, again, if you guys um, have any ideas, want to see more of it, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, as always, if you like the content on the channel, want to see more and stuff, please uh, consider subscribing. That helps me a lot. Oh my god, I have you seen that fish? It, it almost yeeted itself out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, they attack each other. I didn't know that. I'm distracted now. I want to see them jump. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this build. And um, have a good day. Have a good weekend. I talk to you in the next one. And goodbye. Stay safe.